Hey everyone and welcome back to my worm farming channel. This is the Worm Whisperer here and I've got a brand new bin all ready to be set up today. So that's what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to take this brand new bin here. As you can see there's already some food in it. Uh, pineapple in here. The worms are already chewing up. So we're going to fill this worm bin up and then I'm going to show you what I do with my egg shells and what I use for grit. It seems like some people have some issues with how I use my egg shells and they're, I understand why they're asking and saying that the eggshells are too big. So I'm going to get into why and what I use my eggshells for and it's probably not what you guys think I use them for or some of you anyway. So I'm going to get into that and how that works. So stay tuned. <music> Okay, so first things first is we're just going to throw some, uh, I've got some shredded cardboard that I'm going to put in this bin for everybody. So we've got a big bag of the nice shredded cardboard, or actually it's shredded bags. So we're going to throw some of this in to get the bin started over top of the worm. So I always put it in dry because I find that uh, it doesn't really matter, like the amount of moisture that will come off the food that I'm going to put in here is usually enough. And I also have some wet cocoa coir I'm going to mix in here. So that's going to help uh, keep the worm bin dry, but not too dry, just enough to uh, get some moisture in there. So we're going to fill this up. Okay, we've got lots of this. This is uh, just shredded paper bags. We're going to fill it right up with this. Okay, so now we've got our base all filled up. So this is nice cardboard here, or nice paper bags. It's all nice and shredded, okay, and I use a paper shredder for that. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw some cocoa coir in here. This is gonna give us a nice, uh, healthy worm base. We can get it out. This has a fair amount of moisture in it. So that'll help uh, wet the cardboard. I don't like the bin being very wet. I like to keep it fairly, fairly moist, but not soaking wet. Okay, so I'm going to mix that in nice. Okay, so we get that all mixed in here. So this gives us a nice base for the worms to live in. So this is the carbon the worms are going to live in. Okay, so now that our base is set up, I'm going to put in some nice, uh, so we've got some nice food here. So we've got this old uh, piece of lettuce is starting to rot. So we're going to throw that in there. Okay, so the worms will have a field day with this. They're gonna love eating this, so I'll kind of break it up a little bit. See here. Okay, and then I kind of bury it on the sides here. So we're gonna take this and just kind of stuff it down in here for the worm food. Okay, and then we'll take the this piece here and we'll chuck it in there like that. Okay, and then we'll take some more of this and put it in this side. Okay, and this lettuce, it has a lot of water in it, so it's gonna, the water will leach out of it as it breaks down and it'll soak this up and soak into this bedding and make the bedding a little damper, because right now it's a little too dry for worms, but as the food breaks down in it, it'll actually moisten it up pretty well and the worms will be able to get into it easier. Okay, and then we've got some more lettuce here. Lots of lettuce. Okay, and we'll rip this apart and we'll put this in here. Okay, we'll kind of just put that on top. That'll be fine. Okay, as the water comes out of that, that'll also help uh, soak up into the worm bedding. Now we've got some really nice rotted up food here. So this stuff here is going to go in here as well. So put that in there. That's been rotten for a bit the freezer. So we're going to take this out. So this is really nice and broken down. The worms will be able to break this down right away. And you can see it has a lot of moisture in it as well. So the worms will love this. You can see it's very broken down. The worms will have, they'll just start eating this right away. So we'll kind of mix it into the top stuff here a little bit. As you can see, it's already, the moisture is already picking up inside the, the cardboard. We'll kind of mix that all in really well. Okay, so that's all in there. Nice, easy access food for the worms. All right, so that's just a really nice, quick base to set up your, your worm bin. That's very quick, easy to do, only takes a few minutes. And we have a nice base here for the worms. So this will be the top bin when I add it on. 
Okay, so now uh, comes time. So now I want to add, I'm going to add a couple things that I like to add to it. You don't have to do this. This is, it's perfectly fine with it. I like to add a little bit of fish meal just for some extra nitrogen and some extra uh, potassium and phosphorus. So I'll sprinkle a little bit of this stuff in here. I mean, you could even put a fish in here if you wanted to, but it'll stink really bad. So throw some of that in there. Mix it in a little bit, just like the last stuff. Just kind of mix it in there. So this is going to be some extra nitrogen for the for the bacteria and the microbiology that's living in this worm bin. They'll be able to feed off that and as well as the worms. The worms will also be able to eat that as well. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the eggshell. So I have a big jar of eggshells here, as you can see, and they're not grinded up. So a lot of people, they'll grind these eggshells up into a fine pattern. And that's actually what they'll use for a grit. And that's fine, that works great. You can definitely use that for a grit. What I like to use these eggshells for and pour them in here is all these eggshells are full of calcium. And what will happen is, as they sit in this worm bin, as the worms break it down, it'll sit in there and it'll leach that calcium out of the eggshells. So the eggshells, a lot of the microbiology and such will grow on these eggshells and help to break them down, even if the worms aren't. So they will actually break down in your worm bin. Uh, just because they're not fine powder doesn't mean that they won't break down. They actually will break down. It doesn't even matter. Like I mostly put these eggshells in here for my plants rather than for the worms. And as these break down, they won't even be broken down by the time these uh, worm castings are finished. You can, it's no problem taking finished worm castings with these big broken pieces of eggshells in them and putting them in with your plants. They'll continue to break down in with your plants, either whether they're in pots or if they're in your garden or wherever you decide to use your worm castings. These will break down into calcium in and feed your plants really slowly with a nice consistent supply of worm calcium in your pots or wherever you decide to use your worm castings. So I'm going to dump these in here. Got lots of them. These come from my own chickens, so they're kind of they're a green color. I'm going to mix them all in here. And as you can see, they're way too big. Like I can understand why somebody would think that these were too big, and it's because they're not. I'm not using them for grit for the worms. So a lot of people will grind them up and use them as grit for their worms, and that's cool. And that's actually a good way and a good thing to do because they'll also break down uh, much quicker and work much better for calcium if you grind them up. So just kind of mix them up here. And so these are excellent calcium source for your worms. So you can kind of mix these all in here. And as they, uh, as the worms break down this stuff that's in this bin, eggshells will actually kind of drop down through the bin. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what I actually use for my grit. And I actually use, you can use sand or you can use anything that's small that the worms can use, but I like to use even more calcium. So I like to use this fine powder. So this is ground up eggshells. And I like to use these for the worm grit. You can also use uh, rock shell dust, anything that's like ground up rocks. You can even grind your own rocks if you wanted to and make them into uh, your own grit, rock grit or rock dust. I just use this stuff because I happen to have it on hand. I like to use this stuff in my plants as well. So I'll kind of sprinkle some of this stuff around in here. And this is what I actually use for grits. So the worm, worms aren't using the eggshells that I'm using in here, those big pieces of eggshells. They're not using those for the grit. So I'm going to sprinkle this all over the food and everything. So the, as the worms eat the food and break the food down in this, these ground seashells will also go through their gut and also get processed and be just full of nice calcium in this worm bin. All right, so there you have it. So that's a brand new worm bin that's all nice and ready to go. I'm gonna throw this one on the top of my worm tower. I'm gonna to do some follow-up videos for this and you guys can watch this as it breaks down. So over the next few weeks, what I'll do is, is I'll show you this worm bin and how it's breaking down and how the worms are moving up into it. That shouldn't take too long. There's already some worms in the bottom of this bin that we're already in here feeding. Shouldn't take very long at all for these to get broken down into worm castings and you guys can see how that process works. So I'm going to do that over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'll do update videos. Uh, I just want to thank everybody who subscribed to the channel. And if you like this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And I appreciate everybody who subscribed and commented on the channel. I thank you very much for joining me and have a great day.